Christian McCaffrey two year extension on top of the two year current deal. So he was signed basically two years, $12 million per year. That's where the deal was sitting with what was left, but there was no guaranteed money. The 49ers go and they add on two years, $19 million a year per year on top of. So at our current situation, is that Christian McCaffrey, the offensive player of the year, Kyle Shanahan's favorite offensive weapon he has ever had in his entire career, is now signed for four more years. And that's about as pol political as we'll get on this damn show. Four more years. Four more years. I think it's four more years. Uh, but when you look at Christian just as an individual, like I'm not going to compare him to anybody else. Christian is one of the more talented people I've ever been in my life. But if I didn't speak about that, I'd say he's almost the biggest overachiever I've been in my life. He's been around in my life in terms of how obsessive he is with every little thing. And just you guys have heard us talk about him, but that's where he's extremely unique. And um, I mean, if you as you get older with age, you lose a step or something. It, that's not what makes Christian great. That's how he is the same player down in and down out. And yeah, it's great to have all the talent that he does have. And he takes care of his body as good as anyone. So you don't picture him losing any of that because of a number. Um, but if that stuff does happen, Christian's always going to be a good football player until he decides not to be. And um, we're not really concerned with that at all with his type of personality. The 49ers are going to focus a little bit differently. Not that they're not trying to get the IU deal done. I'm not sure if this hurts or helps. I don't think it really, really matters too much. We'll have to wait and see the guaranteed money. We know that there's $24 million guaranteed added on the deal, which is tiny. There was zero guaranteed dollars for Christian McCaffrey. Now it's $24 million guaranteed. Don't know how that's going to span out over the course of this new four-year deal. But what it does mean is that the 49ers get Christian McCaffrey for a long time. And whenever we look at just what he's done, you remember they traded a 2, 3, 4, 5 to get him. And it was a lot. It was a lot at the time. But you look at what he's at. He's averaged in 27 games since he's joined the Niners. This is his average. 119 total yards per game. 1.1 touchdowns per game since he showed up on the 49ers. And again, you're talking about somebody that was an offensive player of the year. How important is it for you to continue to try to keep raising that bar for, for the position group as a whole? I think it's really important. I think, you know, running backs have been undervalued for a long time now. And um, hopefully this is a step in the right direction. CMC contract extension woke me up for this season. The man is 25% of our offense production, and now chances are he retires a Niner. Let's go. Earned every dollar. Signed through his 31 season, 31-year-old age season. Perfect time. Perfect. Let, let me play this kind of role that the NFL likes to do too much. Running backs don't last long. Christian McCaffrey has been the highest paid running back five consecutive years in a row. Resets the market again. It just keeps resetting. What are your thoughts to somebody that's going to say, man, he used to be injured all the time. There's no way running backs last past 30 years old. We signed him through 31 years. Are, are the 49ers making a mistake here? That's not my opinion, but I know that's going to be a lot of opinions out there. Do you think that they made the right call? What do you think about CMC signed all the way through 31 years old? Absolutely, because you have to look at the value of, of, of Christian McCaffrey, you know, um, when I talk about him being the best running back, I don't think I, I feel like that's an understatement because he's more than that, right? He's the best blocking running back. He's the best pass catching running back. He's the best running running back. He's the best offensive player in the game as we speak at this young age that he's that he is. And when you extend him, you're not necessarily thinking about that that older age at at the moment right now. I think right now the goal is to win the Super Bowl with the guy that's the best, right? And so that, I think that's the only thing that matters. What happens? later on in a contract well we've watched what the Niners will do to a player that isn't producing uh when they hit an older age you, right. you want to take a pay cut nah all right cool we'll, we'll let you go like and the Niners will eat the money like the, I, I don't care about any of that like the fact that he's here right now in a running backs room that's going to come out here and work hard because they've just seen their own teammate get guap do you know what this does for their mentality they're going to be like okay what do I, I just finished talking about this on my Instagram. What do I got to do to be like him? Like, what do I got to? I'm going to watch him eat. I'm going to watch him work out. I might even watch him take a shower. At this point, I need to be like Christian McCaffrey. 
F being like Mike, I want to be like CMC. I think that is the standard if you're a running back in the NFL. Like CMC, if I can be like CMC, what do I need to do? And so working out, all that stuff's going to come into play. You don't care about that 31-year-old age, but that's the ripe average age, right? And if the Niners are building that room right, right, they'll lessen some of his reps. He'll sustain his sustainability, his durability. He'll be there longer. He might be able to get another deal to like 34, and we still keep him in here. Who knows? Won't be as much, but my point is you got the best Dan gone offensive weapon in the game on your team, and you find a way to keep – the wheels turning, man. I, I I can't be more happy right now. I mean, Brandon Ayuk would probably top that for me because I just like the wide receiver position, and we haven't had one since T.O., but right now we got the best running back in the game going to be a 49er for the next several years. 2027, guys. 2027. I'm, I mean, every year he's been in the league, seems like he's been the same guy since he's walked in the building. He's the same guy every day on and off the field, and I'm pumped to have him here for a long time. This is great. I, I love this. Because, and here's the issue with the people that are going to say bad things about CMC and the health. How do you win? Does CMC win with just blazing speed? I don't think he does. What makes him special is his vision and how he can win in so many different ways. I go back to this, and I probably use this too often, Wayne. You look at Anquan Bolden. Mm. How did that dude prolong his career? I understand it's a different position, but he never won with speed. You look at Richard Sherman, never won with speed. Now, CMC ran a 4-4-8, but he's not running away from a lot of people. He's fast, but he's not that fast. Yeah, um, he's not your, 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 your straight line fast guy, right? Um, and he's not the quickest guy to get to the outside, depending on how you run, you know, your outside zone runs. But I tell you what. He's the guy that makes that cut. He's the guy that knows the, how to instill what he needs to instill when he's out there running. He's a physical guy. Uh, we watched him fumble the ball a couple of times last mm -hmm. year due to his over physicality, though, right? Like, you know, and just not protecting the ball as he comes down to the ground. And listen, when you got 11 players punching at you, I mean, the ball's going to come out. So I feel like if there's anything he needs to work on, it's probably that. And I'm sure he beat himself up about it. But at the end of the day, I mean, he produced, right? He produced. And I say produced because if you look at this john like these numbers are ridiculous right 22 total games 2711 yards 1241 receiving yards he only been with this team for two years 39 touchdowns that's ridiculous yeah it's it's since he showed up it was automatic. You remember that game against the Rams? You know I where remember. He caught a touchdown, ran for a touchdown, threw for a, threw touchdown. a touchdown. Come on! And it was just nonstop since then. He showed up. Shanahan, whenever he gets his guys, and sometimes he's wrong in the draft or whatever else. But like, you go trade for Emmanuel Sanders, instant impact. You know what I mean? Like, you go trade for Trent Williams, instant impact. You go trade for Jimmy G. I sat for a while, but still. Definitely an upgrade. But then you talk about the CFC trade. That might go down as one of the best trades in Niners history, which is crazy when they gave up so much. Two, three, four, five. You remember, too, back to the Rams, the Rams and the 49ers were outbidding each other. And right. the only reason why the <laughs> Niners got him over the Rams is because the Rams traded a fourth-round pick for Sony Michelle. And so they Ooh. couldn't match our offer. And so the 49ers got CMC. Instead of the Rams, because the prior year they traded for Sony Michelle. Um, wow, thank you, Rams. Um, Appreciate yeah. you. Uh, salute, <laughs> right? Salute, hey man, look, guys, just be just just enjoy what we have while we have it. Uh, and you know, let's now how Kyle chooses to utilize Christian McCaffrey, I think, with the guarantees. And stuff like that i mean we'll see but um i just i'm you want him here and not anywhere else i mean sometimes that's just how that's the game you know can you imagine christian mccaffrey even though he would have been he was uncontract for two more years can you just imagine him having some type of weird vibe playing like that no you don't weird vibe this you bring your guy in he's your most dangerous offensive piece um uh, and 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 you needed him why because his ability to run the ball uh, sets up for what we like to do with play action pass and when you don't have a christian mccaffrey you don't successfully run it 
Uh, you're talking about a guy that, you know, even at the line of scrimmage, John, he'll get hit and still find a way to fall for three or four yards. So I think, I th I think that's important, too, you know, when you look at it. You and know, I like I mean? this from Logan. Uh, he says, if people are worried about him getting hurt, you can say that about every player in the NFL. And uh, Wayne, Logan. I'm rewatching The Wire right Hug. now. And Hug. the game is the game, in the words of Omar, one of the greatest you... characters of all time, man. Uh, uh, rest in peace to to uh, uh to, to his the greatest I think his, characters yeah. humans ever uh rest, and he died in real life so i think his name was michael uh but rest in peace listen yes yes the game is the game i mean let's say this is football and players are gonna get injured it's just what it is it's how you sustain you know the success and 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 deal with that like the adversity that's adversity players are gonna get injured it's not he, he, What's overutilizing a running back? I don't understand. What's overutilizing? Like you gotta use him because he gives you probability-wise the best chance when your team's out there on the football field to do something positive. Now, if he's tired, you take him out for a play. And then when he's not tired, you guys play Madden. When he's, <laughs> you take his ass out. Why? He gonna fumble. He gonna get hit hard. And then after that, he get you know he'll have pop. You bring him back in the game. Come on, B. I love it, man. Okay, let me ask you this just off the top of my head. I'm looking at Christian McCaffrey. Last year, he had 272 rush attempts. Does that go up or does that go down this year? More, less, same. 272 think, rush attempts during the regular season. I, th I, I think it goes down a little bit. Um, and, and the main reason is I think others go up. Um, a lot of this had to deal with the health of Elijah Mitchell who may be on the bubble, I don't know, and, and, and maybe a trade bait, I don't know. Um, but I think we might see more snaps depending on what, what Jordan Mason does, uh, depending on how Isaac Garendo is progressing in camp. Um, and so, yeah, but I think the number can go down just a little bit. That's by design, but I don't think Christian McCaffrey's having that, and I think he wants to be out on the football field at all times. So... But I think the number yeah. goes down a little bit, not significantly. I'm not talking 50 snaps, no attempts. Excuse me, no. I, but I think it goes down. I think I think okay. it does. All right, here we go. 83 passing targets, up, down, stay the same for Christian McCaffrey. That's See, what I, he got last year. I, I, I think that I think that goes up, right? Ooh, I would be so happy. Oh my when god! Throw, I thought it was different. just me. <laughs> uh, when they throw it to CMC, it's different. Like a running. Back carry the vision you're running through fat old linemen. The the it, the vision when he catches the ball is like, oh snap! What is he gonna do? 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 Right? And so yeah, I'm, I agree it's different. Uh, but I think that goes up. I think you you want that up. Yeah. Um, what do you think of that usage in this year? Do you do you see that number going up, or you think it's more likely to go down? Um, I mean, I don't think it always needs to be that case with all the runs. Like he's got, we got guys that can take can run the ball and stuff um we got to protect christian from himself uh, he doesn't like to ever come out no matter what the situation is and i do think that's something we could protect him with more um when you are such a threat in the pass game it's a little bit different you know and that's when you get touches from a running back a lot of times you're the last choice just everyone's deep and you throw it to a check down so like halfbacks can get six targets in a game without one play called for them um just because they're on check downs a lot and so how do we feel about those touches? Man, I'm glad he was out there for that check down. That means no one's around and he's getting up the field and he's as good of a threat on a check down as there can be. Um, but if he's just taking the wear and tear with 20 carries and stuff every game, and he's definitely good enough to do that and he's proved he can stay healthy, but um, you'd like to take some of that off of him and give it to other guys also. And look, we got Sis on the show. What's up, Victoria Morgan? Appreciate the super chat. I think CMC will be used more uh, things offensively, but more variety and not just run attempts. We're all in agreement. We have a quorum, all three of us. Uh, wouldn't mind a few less carries, few more receptions, not necessarily less snaps, but I would like more carries for the other three running backs in the second and third quarter. I want CMC out there first quarter, fourth quarter. And, and so you kind of spell them a little bit uh, in the middle. But first quarter, fourth quarter, money time, we want all the CMC that we could possibly get. Time for the 49ers Rush Podcast.